In Greenland, a melting glacier caused a mountain to collapse into a narrow fjord, setting off a massive tsunami wave. When this incident happened, seismic detectors around the world picked up an unusual oscillating seismic signal that peaked every 90 seconds, a pattern that's unusual for an earthquake. But when the signal continued for nine whole days, scientists became even more baffled. It was so bizarre that they had to call it an unidentified seismic object. Never before has such a long-lasting globally traveling seismic wave containing only a single frequency of oscillation been recorded. Determined to solve this mystery, a group of scientists set out to find answers, and what they discovered will blow your mind. Join us today as we delve into this mysterious incident and uncover the truth about what happened. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's best way to support this channel. On the 16th of September, 2023, scientists detected a completely unusual seismic signal. It looked like nothing they had ever seen before. It came from somewhere in East Greenland, and it spread around the world, from the Arctic to Antarctica in less than an hour. No place beneath our feet was immune to the tiny ground vibrations. Each tiny flashing point in this animation shows a seismic monitoring station lighting up in response to the waves spreading around the world through the Earth's crust. This marks one of the few instances where a local incident created seismic signals that traveled across the globe. What's strange is, the signal looked and sounded nothing like an earthquake. Typically, if we could hear earthquake vibrations, they would sound like a complex symphony of rumbles and chimes. However, the signal from Greenland was nothing but a steady monotonous hum, a simple sine wave oscillating every 90 seconds, continuing for a full nine days. Dr. Stephen Hicks from University College London's Earth Sciences Department said, When I first saw the seismic signal, I was completely baffled. Even though we know seismometers can record a variety of sources happening on Earth's surface, never before has such a long-lasting globally traveling seismic wave containing only a single frequency of oscillation been recorded. Subsequently, inspired by the events, Dr. Hicks Co. led a team of scientists to figure out the puzzle. A team of 68 researchers from 40 institutions and 15 countries set out to solve the mystery. So where in Greenland did this unusual seismic signal originate? It came from the isolated and uninhabited Dixon Fjord, part of a complex branching fjord system located around 200 kilometers inland from the open ocean. Dixon Fjord is bordered by towering cliffs over 1,000 meters high, with several gullies on its southern side. These gullies are home to glaciers that descend sharply into the fjord below. One of these glaciers, plunging dramatically into the fjord, is where the events of September 16, 2023 took place. In this image, you can see a close-up of the glacier taken just a few weeks before the landslide occurred. The next photo reveals the changes, the mountain's peak is missing, and the glacier has lost about 10 meters from its top. According to Dr. Stephen Hicks, it all happened when a 1.2 kilometers high mountain peak collapsed into the Dixon Fjord. As a result of the landslide, an estimated 25 million cubic meters of rock and ice crashed into the fjord, enough to fill 10,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. When all this came crashing down, a 650-foot tall tsunami wave was triggered and it had nowhere to go in the narrow fjord. The tsunami completely removed the vegetation of the area and destroyed all the topsoil. 70 kilometers further east of the wave, the water inundated the base at Elao Island which was at this time unoccupied. The run-up here was around 4 meters and it reached 80 meters inland, destroying a lot of the equipment that was at the base. At this point, scientists knew that a major tsunami had occurred because they had previously installed some sensors in the fjord including a gauge that measures the elevation of the water surface. Before the 16th of September, 2023, the data from the water level gauge is normal. On the 16th though, a clear spike in the data can be seen. Since the sensor only sampled the water elevation every 15 minutes, 
the biggest waves were not even recorded. Let's take a look at some visuals before and after the incident. This drone footage shows how the glacier looked three days after the landslide. It was taken by the Danish military as they inspected the area. You can see how the lower part of the glacier is wiped clean by the tsunami, while the upper part is full of debris. Satellites also captured the landslide. The before and after satellite images show how the glacier and the mountain peak are intact, and how afterwards the mountain peak is missing and the glaciers were stained black. Now we come to the most interesting part. Normally, tsunamis locally dissipate within minutes to hours. So what caused the nine-day-long global seismic calm? This remained a key missing piece of the puzzle, but Dr. Stephen Hicks and his team have finally solved this mystery. After examining the data and running simulations, they concluded that the unusually long seismic signal was caused by the landslide that triggered a giant sloshing tsunami called a seiche. A seiche is a rhythmic oscillation of water in a lake or a partially enclosed coastal inlet, such as a bay, gulf, or harbor. Seiches are fairly widespread phenomena and they may last from a few minutes to several hours or for as long as two days. But how did this seiche in Dixon Fjord last for nine days? There have been no such slowly dissipating seiches reported in scientific literature before. According to seismologists, the dead end to the western parts of the fjord, and the sharp bend to the east meant that the tsunami couldn't easily dissipate, especially as the open ocean is some 200 kilometers further down the fjord. So the standing wave of fjord water kept sloshing back and forth from one shoreline to another every 90 seconds for nine days. This back and forth motion of the fjord water transferred momentum into the fjord walls, transmitting seismic energy through the surrounding crust, causing the seismic waves to spread all over the world. Now that the puzzle is solved, it's important to understand why the landslide happened. The team of scientists began brainstorming possible causes for this incident. Using global seismic recordings, field measurements, satellite imagery, and computer simulations, the team then tried to reveal what exactly took place. They used a supercomputer to process the data and create a simulation of the events. Their work reconstructed the disaster, from the volume of falling ice and rock to the trajectory of the avalanche. And ultimately, they mapped out the mega tsunami. According to the data, all signs point towards climate change. The data shows that the steeply plunging glacier below the mountaintop had actually been thinning by up to 30 meters in the decades before the landslide. The glacier had thinned so much in recent years that it actually couldn't support the mountaintop anymore. Though this landslide happened in a remote area, these fjords are sometimes visited by Arctic cruise ships. Fortunately, none were in the area when the landslide happened, but the consequences of such a massive tsunami would have been devastating. Even though nobody was harmed from this incident, it is still cause for concern as it adds to the growing body of evidence showing that climate change is not only affecting atmospheric and oceanic systems, but also leading to increased geological hazards. The Arctic is warming nearly four times as fast as the rest of the planet and Greenland's ice cap is losing an estimated 30 million tons of ice an hour. As the ice continues to melt, the region faces more threats from both landslides and their resulting tsunamis. The event stands as a stark reminder that climate change is shifting what is typical on Earth, and it can set unusual events into motion. As a result, more incidents like this could happen in the future. Researchers conclude that rapidly accelerating climate change means it is more important than ever to characterize and monitor regions like this that were previously thought to be stable. It would provide essential early warnings for these massive landslide and tsunami events.